Cat Williams is in the Red Velvet Cake Studio. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the cake. Thank you, sir. It looks delicious in here. <laughs> Very tastefully done. Yeah. <laughs> In Dallas doing two shows. Another show has been added. Added a show. Man, you, you, you're man, you killing do, them, man. Are you, gonna, are, you gonna, are you going to uh, record this show and, and put this out? This one a, in Dallas? No, the, the tour. Just, just uh, the yes, sir. The stand-up yeah, tour. I am going to historically market, just trying to figure out where's the spot. That you're going yeah. to record? Mm -hmm. How many dates have you done so far? Um, I want to say 30. Wow. About 30 with another 30 to go. Mm. Mm -hmm. you, All know, right. you know, the basics. You know, back on that old horse. Do you again. like do you like touring? Do you like being out there and being on the road? Um it's the only enjoyable part. It is. Yeah. yeah I know saying. how you feel. I know how you feel. Yeah. When you it, get on But it's a different tour than you know, like from back in the day. Now it's it's jets and big hotels and it's great. Yeah, so Melanie Camacho right. came by the yeah. other day and she said, "Y'all roll big time." You roll big time with, with man. private jets and and money. She said and everything is first class. Those those people are saying YOLO. We live YOLO every single time. You only <laughs> this live is the difference. Once, huh? I'm saying this may be our only tour, so mm -hmm. we we continue to do that, thinking it may never happen, and we were right. It <laughs> might it might not have ever happened again, and so now we appreciate it so much more that we're back out again. Good, good, mm -hmm. good. And smaller good, private jets now. <laughs> <laughs> you have time to keep up with the news? Yes, sir. And Os nothing but. Oscar Pistorius, yes, as you sir. call him, Tink Tink. Yep. And the trial is going on now. Have you been yep. keeping up? I have, as much as I could. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's difficult, though. Difficult to keep up. Yeah. Or difficult for Oscar. Or Tink Bo Tink. Bo as you both. <laughs> the, the story is bad either way. Yeah. Like, it's a terrible story. Like,. <laughs> It's the worst imaginable story. Excellent. But you have to put yourself in the mind of somebody that can't walk away. <laughs> well, when a dude is telling you something happened without his legs on, that means that's a vulnerable conversation he's having with you. And now if he's having that conversation with a woman, you don't know what she might have said at, at the time. You know what I mean? You feel this pain, do you? No, I'm, I'm, I just know that sometimes things happen and I know that generally when stuff is hard to explain uh -huh. that has nothing to do with whether it's true or not <laughs> yeah so you know it's a terrible situation but I've been keeping up with it it's all bad no winners in that one mm. yeah. not when you're on trial for murder no sir. no and can't walk away I'm saying you don't want to go to jail where you're going to get passed around <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you're like, I want to move. You can't move. You, this is your permanent cell. This is terrible. Lock, lock my legs up independently from me. This is cruel, oh, man. God. Yeah. Tink tink. Yeah, polo tink tink. tink. <laughs> Sometimes we read into the future. Remember, I hit somebody at Target. Next Target hit everybody else's accounts. I'm be trying now. Kind of a slow profit, if you understand. A slow profit. A slow profit, yes. yes. Did, did, did you ever say what he said to you, uh, Kat? What did he did he say to you that make you hit him? I I really I didn't mean to because I I knew that it was a setup, but he was so aggressive with the N word that it it took my attitude from. Okay, I can't do this because of the person that I am. And mm -hmm. then I realized, no, actually because of the person I am, I'm like the only person you should have said this to. <laughs> because everybody else has a job they're going to lose and a family and they're going to go to jail. Right. And I'm going to be able to just say, no, no, this is what you said. This is the context in which you said it. And these are the recompenses for that. <laughs> I'm saying that's how the N-word started to begin with. Mm -hmm. It's about the intent behind it, <laughs> not the word. Yeah, so his oh intent was false. <sighs> now mm -hmm. they're talking about finding football players for using the N word on the football field. On the the NFL is going to find you, penalize you, if you use the N word. I don't think you want to hear my opinion. <laughs> yeah, I think do. they should. 
You think they should? They should? Th- on the football field? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they should. Why? I, because, see, you have to understand that everything that we see on the news, they want us to talk about it like it's a little story when really these are major agendas that we're discussing. So the whole thing is, yeah, you should ban that word. And while you're at it, go ahead and ban the rest of the cuss words from the football field mm-hmm. so you don't have to deal with that. And then we can act like you live in a professional world like we do. Right. Otherwise, say they play football and they can say whatever they want to say and just say the white players can't say the N-word. But for some reason, that smacks of racism mm-hmm. or, or reverse racism, which is no racism at all. Mm-hmm. Yikes. Did you see that one? Slow, <laughs> slow profit. Sometimes I sometimes <laughs> speed profit. it up and give it to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quick but profit. We have to deal with the word. Yeah. And, and, and unfortunately, these are not black and white issues that go both ways. So, you know, I, I have white f- friends that say that word and, and I have s- to deal with it. And what do you say to them? I don't knock them out. That's the crazy part. <laughs> is, again, it's really how you're saying it. It's yeah. really what your tone is, how you meant to say it. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know? And so um, until we finally deal with those simple facts, we're not going to be able to move any further past Trayvon Martin and mm. the Michael Dunn. Uh, yeah. All of that. I'm saying none of this is new, but it is going to have to stop. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. You spoke before on stage about weed. Yeah. And the weed laws now are B- before, coming down. Before the weed laws, yes? Yeah, before the weed laws. Right. Uh, again, mm-hmm. slow profit. Sir? <laughs> mm. Message isn't always popular. <laughs> but yeah. now, mm-hmm. and, and, and the other day, there was a story about uh, some, some kids, some boys in the eighth grade got no, caught. No, eight and nine-year-old boys. Oh, eight and nine-year-old nine. boys mm-hmm. in the bathroom. Smoking weed. Smoking weed. Right, but n- those two stories don't have anything to do with each other. Those boys didn't go to a, a legal medical uh, <laughs> a, a professional and get a prescription for it and then go to the bathroom and take it. They came upon what they came upon. Their parents that, did. Well, I'm, I'm saying <laughs> yeah. it doesn't really matter. It, uh, how, how long have uh, children been going in their parents' alcohol and drinking out of it and replacing it with water? Yeah, this man. is... Man, this, hands up. This is not what it's about. It's not about whether something can be abused. It's about whether it was created with a good purpose or not. Mm-hmm. Aspirin is made by God, and it makes your hair feel better. And this little plant makes your hair feel different. <laughs> <laughs> but the same person is responsible. So you can say whatever you want to say. It's the stuff they make that got 300 side effects. <laughs> now they realize it. We can do a law. We can move on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hopefully we can do that with the N-word, too. <laughs> now, do you have these discussions with your kids the way that you have, you know, this kind of rapport with your your, with your fans? audience? No, not not really, because my my children know this stuff, but they know that um, kind of what I do is to put myself on the front line of that. Mm-hmm. And honestly, if I cared enough about them, I wouldn't do that. So it's kind of a touchy subject. If um, if you're k- willfully putting yourself in the crosshairs, mm-hmm. knowing that you know you have other priorities in life, so what we discuss is how we wish things would turn out, and the fact that you have to do what you have to do regardless of how it turns out. If it turns out well, then so be it, and you get the praise and the credit, give God some glory, and you move on. And if it doesn't, you take that L and you move on. That's what we discuss. Mm-hmm. Um, do you discipline your kids? And in what way do you discipline them? No, I was always smart enough to know all my kids were going to end up being bigger than me. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. And so, there's a lot of them. Anything that is too big for the corner or too big for a discussion. <laughs> yeah. The time out. Yeah, I'm corner. saying. <laughs> I'm gonna let you have that. <laughs> I, I never, I didn't, I never, I was blessed not to have bad children. So mm-hmm. I'm saying. How I many? Didn't really come. Well, I can't say all of them weren't. <laughs> 80% track record of all good children. How many kids do you have? Um, Current count six. And what's the age range? Well, that's what makes it kind of difficult because okay. we, we we do have one in the Air Force now. We have another one oh. just going into the service. So that's two in the service. And so now 
Um, our number technically should be four since we're saying kids, but I try not to keep people too on track with my personal life just because uh-huh. I don't really do it for publicity, you know? Mm-hmm. Right. Bless so. your heart. Yeah. Well, well, you know, it works when it turns out bad, too. <laughs> <laughs> Always a blessing in there. <laughs> All right, Cap. We'll see you on the ship. Now you know why I need to be on the ship. See? <laughs> it's heavy out here. I'm just thankful I'm not Kevin Hart. I would not want to be the king right now. It's rough out there. <laughs> Cat Williams. Let's do That's a- what I wanted to hear. Uh, you got it. Yeah. Let's do a selfie. I mean, a ussy. Uh, a weezus. <laughs> a weezus. <laughs>you, you feel me how we going in and handling mine? Oh, I see what you're doing. I'm trying, baby. Yeah, you're doing destruction over here. Oh, you understand trying, me? Baby. If we need to tear down any kind of building over here, we're going to call you. Exactly. Understand what we're talking about. We will dismantle your building. We will shut it down. We will flatten that club. Uh, we call it a zoovie. Because when we go into a club, we make a movie, but it's also wild like a zoo. So we call it straight zoovie. Getting like beastly it. with it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What are you talking about? Ooh. Straight from the heavens above with so much love. I'm flowing just like a dove. It's E-double-D-I-E. Griffin in the house, can't you see? Oh. I'm here to set your asses free. And I bet you do. Uh, what's the, what's it like with the ladies out there for you, brother? May I just put it out there? Uh, let me excuse you uh, one time, you understand me? Because I'm kind of tied up in a relationship right now. So, you know. Excuse me, ladies, but I'm kind of on that. You know. So... Ladies, fall back! You understand? But that's just more change for me. Until around midnight, then fall forward. <laughs> exactly! Because we're in a different postcode. And it doesn't What guess. you say? It ain't no fun if I can't have none. Oh, and bring me off a little side change. Now, Eddie, man, uh, this is your second trip. Third. Third trip? Yeah. You have been sneaking in. Yes, indeed, if you Oh, need. man, and... Uh, you know, what's the experience been like, man? I'm not telling you, the people over here are beautiful. It's not what people would take, you know, when they watch movies about London, this, that, and the other. And yes. They think it's high brow and yes. nose up in the air, yes. but the people are ten toes down here. Exactly. You understand know me? Especially when you don't just go to the tourist spots, but you actually get to Brixton, hang out, you understand know, me, and get your thing done. Exactly. That's Hanging in up. the hood, baby. Now, did you watch the royal wedding? On TV. I'd have to say that uh, I missed that uh, event uh, because I was watching people getting torn up by a tornado, which is actually news. You know, (laughs) I appreciate those couple of people getting together to copulate, but I couldn't understand how that became a day event called news. Exactly. You know, go on and get your copulation on. The people get married every day and it ain't that big of an event. You understand me? Exactly. You know, I love your little palace and all that, the nice little peasantry that went on. And then, you know, all that, you know, the flowers and the horses and the little red suits and the little hats with the dingle balls on top of them. But there are people dying! Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And that is the word of a player who understands what's going on in this world. All these ladies in this room, and there's only two of them, that one had tears in her eyes when uh, they had trouble getting the ring on the fact sausage finger. No, don't, 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 don't cry, baby. You know, somebody should have told her, stop eating pork. <laughs> you are what you eat. Yeah, she, yeah, her fingers were pretty big that day. You understand me? Kind of bloated, so I know that little soiree after the wedding ain't gonna be fun. You understand me? I mean, I've watched so many DVDs, so much seen so much TV. Your stand up is intense, baby. Yes, indeed, Feed the Needy. I'm coming with the raw, uncut. Yes. You understand me? I can't even flex like I want to flex right uh, here exactly. at BBC because yes. there are yes. rules of engagement it's, while we on radio. Exact. I mean, on the real with that, my brother. Yes, I mean, indeed, Feed the Needy. It's, it's that uncut rawness, that uncut flavor that people need in their That's life. the only way I, I know how to do it, man. Straight, no chasing. You understand exactly. me? 
Nah. You coming to see an Eddie Griffin show, you understand me? You ain't seen it live till you seen it live. You know what I mean? There's only so much TV allowed, brother, like me to do. Exactly. You understand me? But you come exactly. and catch this brother you have exactly. called the brother. Exactly. The one and only undercover brother. Exactly. Afro with the show. If you touch the yes, throat, you got preach. to go. You yes. know how that yes. game go. Yes. It's preach one of player. a kind to shock preach your me. mind. Emperor comedy in the damn house. Understand that. What you need in your life, baby. And you one of the few guys who hasn't gone crazy. <laughs> Ten toes down is how I play ball, baby. Exactly. As well, you can see when I walked up here, it's not an auntie Raj, it's me, yes. solo dolo. Uh, keeping it real. You understand me? Real in the game, baby. What'd you say? I'm approachable, walk up. Hey, what's happening? Exactly. What's happening? You exactly. understand me? What happened to Cat? What happened to Cat? Yes. Ain't nothing to happened to Cat. Cat's recording good. his hip hop album right so he's now. Still he's good. focused. He's come back. That's my brother. You he understand lost me? He, came he back. did not lose it at all. You understand me? That's the perception that you get yes. through the media. Exactly. And the media we know is me to you, full of lies. That's why yes. it's called television programming. I'm telling you visually, yes. the program. You're being programmed. Yes. Kick back off of that program, program, reprogram, and deprogram so you can get with the program. Exactly. Yes. What's up now? That is the overstanding, not the understanding, but the overstanding. You understand me? Because I don't yeah. underachieve, I overachieve. Let's get busy with let's it. Come on, now. Come on, let's get Treat me like it. a hot dog and catch up. <laughs> For cats who don't understand, like Eddie Griffin, you all think it's just the realness. Like, you, you come on that stage and tell it as you've seen it, as you see it. As I smell it. You understand me? It's like, uh, let's take Michelle Obama, for instance. What a fine, big booty. Man, she can get it! I'm waiting on Obama to mess up like Bill Clinton did. Because as soon as he mess, I'm sliding right in. I'm going to tell her straight to her face, Michelle, you like comedy? <laughs> exactly. Let's get it in. What's up, London? I'm in the house. Oh, man. You are putting it out there like it needs to be put out there. I mean, I you understand me? It's going down. Politics, we talking about everything. You understand me? You know what politics stand for? Poll, lie, tick. Break it into syllables. Huh. A tick is a blood sucking organism. A lie is a lie. And who they lie to? Poll people. Poll, lie, tick. Oh, understand that. Overstand that. Oh. really breaking down knowledge, brother. Uh, are... We're going to parlay like parliament. Exactly. We got a few laws we need to pass right here. Yes. And this law is called Be Free to Set Your Mind Free. Think it ain't illegal yet. Oh, man. This has been an education, baby. My name is Ed, not Will Yukeji. What's happening? I need that in my life, baby. You, 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 you players, baby. You, you, you pimps think on a different way. So you understand me? Well, you know, you can call me a pimp, but I just call myself my mother's son. Very true. Yes. Yes. And she's a gangster. Watch out. <laughs> Respect that. I'm gone. That. I'll see y'all at the show. I'm gone. <laughs> YouTube.com slash Tim Westwood TV. Busted. Sassen. Mmm, F square on the mix. We got to have to wait. We got to have to be patient. You need to give it some time. Here we answer your prayers. We got to have to wait. We got to have to be patient. You need to give it some time. Here we answer your prayers. If we answer your prayers, if we answer your prayers. Your love with the boss me for head, it did do me for body. Your love with the boss me for head, oh. Your love with the boss me for head. Did he do me for body? body. Your love did he bust me for head though? Did he bust me? Did he bust me? They want to use your matter for so kaba. They want to use your case for kutaba. Hey, for kutaba.